The new Adobe Mercury playback engine inside of Premiere Pro CS5 provides blindingly fast performance uh, that takes advantage of the latest hardware available. The new Mercury playback engine is 64-bit native. It's multiple core optimized, so if you have something like an 8-core system, it will take full advantage of splitting threads across multiple cores uh, in your system. So it'll take full advantage of any uh, multi-core system. And lastly, it's also GPU accelerated. There are many different effects inside of Premiere Pro CS5. All the ones listed here are all GPU accelerated. So what this means as far as performance is concerned, let me show you a quick example of just a short form uh, editing sequence here. I've taken a clip and I've duplicated it nine different times on my timeline here. In each case, we've applied uh, motion and opacity keyframes to create kind of this nine picture-in-picture uh, nine -picture effect going on here. Inside, using the Mercury Engine, I can get full performance, even though I've applied color correction to each of these different layers, even though I've applied things like basic 3D edge feathering applied to certain layers, I've added Gaussian blur to one of the layers. So basically with the Mercury Playback Engine, you can expect really, really fast performance. This particular example is using DVC Pro HD footage, but you'll see benefits with any high definition format. Whether you're shooting with something like AVC Intra, which is now supported in Premiere Pro, or you're shooting even higher resolution, such as 2K, 3K, or even 4K footage, the Adobe Mercury Playback Engine will provide great performance, uh, a huge improvement over any past version of Premiere Pro. There's a new feature inside of Premiere Pro CS5, a new effect called Ultra Key. And the idea behind Ultra Key, this is a very high quality keyer that is also GPU accelerated with the Mercury Engine. So in this example, I'm taking 3K uh, red footage, footage, native red footage from the camera in R3D format, and I'm actually applying a key using the new Ultra Key effect. So Ultra Key provides very fast, high quality keying, and since it's all GPU accelerated, we can have multiple layers um, in our timeline and have this playback again. Great performance in our program monitor. Here's another example of the Adobe Mercury Engine in action here. I'm starting with some 3K red material here, and as you can see, um, as I go through, I, this is very responsive. I can go through and play. I can go through and play and scrub through all of this red footage, uh, getting great, great performance and playback. Now, this is usually the place where uh, performance and playback specifically will start to break down in a nonlinear editor. When we start to throw effects onto clips, um, you start to see uh, stuttery performance and playback, and that's when you start having to render out preview files, and obviously that's a very time-consuming process. I'm going to start with a couple of different effects here, um, and just throw these effects onto this red footage here. So we'll take maybe a uh, three-way color corrector, throw that on here, and I'll start to adjust maybe uh, you know, warm the video up just a hair. Maybe I'll throw on top of that an RGB curves effect. And if I scroll down here in my effect window, you'll see here's the RGB curves effect. And I can come in here and maybe, you know, give this more of a, maybe brighten up the footage just a hair. Play with that a little bit. Now, you'll notice first off with the Mercury Playback Engine, as I'm adding these effects, I'm not getting a red bar in my timeline. I'm getting a yellow bar indicating I've altered the video, but if I go through and start to play this back, you'll see that the playback is smooth, it's solid, um, I don't get any dropped or stuttering frames. That's part of the beauty of the Mercury Playback Engine.